Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a very Pacific Northwest looking morning. Foggy, cool, well, it's 59 again this morning, but uh, it's supposed to be 82, it's supposed to be kind of like yesterday. I love foggy mornings, though. I love that cool, fresh. And what in the world have you two been into? What's with all the mud? And the crazy drinking of water. You guys been out on a run. That's a sign of two dogs being up to no good. <laughs> Alright. You weren't involved with that, were you, Sparky Spark Spark? Huh? Oh, buddy. Yeah. Alright, let's start off uh, hump day. Yep, yeah, that's all kinds of trouble. Well, there, little woman. It only gained two degrees from Toledo to here. Well, it's supposed to be cloudy, but 81 here, 82 oh. in Toledo. I don't know. It actually feels kind of nice to be cool for once. Yeah. I like it when I can open all the doors downstairs because, oh, you know, yeah. those tinted windows, you get that weird art. I mean, it's windows all the way across, but it's artificial light, it feels like. Yeah. When you open up the doors, you get the real light coming through. Yeah. Let the fresh air flow through. All right, Mama. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too, Hubba, Hubba. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Well, hello there, SV peeps. How the heck are you guys doing today? Just did a fairly big service and a broken <laughs> bolt repair on this uh, 2016 um, Spider RT Limited. It's been a spider fest here lately hasn't it <laughs> hey, so far everything this week has been spiders it's all right it's funny how it goes in waves it's like all spiders and it's all bmws and it's all spiders <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to it it's that time of year i think all the bmw guys are out on their trips the rallies and everything that go on this time of year he's got the aftermarket adjustable uh, wings or vents you know they're normally deflectors and they become vents like wing windows on a uh, an older automobile and you guys love those things when you're a kid anyway uh, the <laughs> I noticed this with that chrome kit that I got any just so you know this if you're doing any installing any accessories on your spiders um there we go if if you're installing an accessory the, the adjustable vents the uh the bracket that holds the driver's backrest is another one every once in a while brp loses their mind and a uh, guy had a batman mask thing on do you see that Geez, that wasn't strange at all. That was almost surreal. That was a little creepy, actually. But uh, anyway, the bolts that come in those kits, those two in particular, but the bolts go into captured nylock nut, nuts. And what I mean by that, they slide into a slot, and then there is, and there's a square plastic thing that slides into that knot inside the plastic piece is either a brass or a stainless steel nut and it's a nylock nut if you <laughs> if you put the screws that they supply and they have the yellow uh, there's a technical name for it but it's like it's like a dry sprayed on loctite well when you run them screws uh, uh, it turns to turn signal would have been nice uh, she was just letting me go I'm just running into absolutely the nicest people here in Vancouver drivers but if you put that uh, Loctite coated screw through that nylock nut the nylock heats up that nut and over activates the uh, Loctite the same thing happens if you zap these things with a air or a electric gun anything with a lot of speed it'll generate heat but uh 
yeah basically what it feels like is a welded like a cross threaded nut like you've never ever come across and it's not really cross threaded it's just a loctite instead of being like a mild to medium loctite it becomes like bearing loctite any of you guys that ever dealt with bearing loctite um yeah you can't this you can't overcome it <laughs> Can I take a left on that road that I usually... I think I can. Is this me coming up right here? I think this is it. No. Yeah, it is. I was about to say I went too far. But, um... Whew. I realized that guy was closing on me like that. So, his kit came with the Loctite on the screws. And I'm sure he put them on himself because you can buy them at the parts counter or off the shelf or whatever and go put your adjustable wings on there and he's screwing it in there and guess what happened the Loctite activated got activated by the nylock and uh, that was it she went about halfway and stuck so hard it it uh in his case because it was a captured nut the nut started spinning in the plastic captured area <laughs> I didn't know if they were coming across or not. Kind of looked like she was about to scoot across, didn't it? So anyway, let me tell you how fun that is to get out. Oh, I don't like a big old truck sitting here. You got to wait a second to make sure nothing's moving. Because you pull up, you don't see anything. That doesn't mean there's just not a hidden car back there. You just don't see. You guys know that. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> I had to take a bunch of crap apart on the fairing, take the right headlight out, and figure out how I'm going to, using those little ignition pliers and little small channel lock looking things. Oh, man, those are literally the best pliers ever. They're small, and they got power like you wouldn't believe. But, uh, anyway... The nut wasn't all the way through, so I was able to stick the pliers into the tip of the nut and squeeze it in the plastic so that so that it wouldn't flip, 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 flip through the plastic. And uh, I uh, was able to extract the bolt. It was not easy, but I got it done. <laughs> if, you see, <laughs> if you see a thumbnail of this thing sitting here. I was hoping I could drive up on that curve again and do it on the with the bamboo right there. <laughs> Didn't work. There was stuff in the way. Too many trash or trash cans. So if you if you get if you buy any accessory, look where it's screwing into. Most accessories screw into one of those captured nuts. And those nuts are, like I say, they're nylocks. If it has Loctite on the screws, just run a six, a six by one, is that right? Six by one, six by nine, I think it's six by one. Just lightly run it through a tap and peel the, uh, the Loctite off of it. If you don't have that, you can kind of do it with a brush, but it's on there tight. You need to run it through a, um, a die, a wire brush, unless you got a, a, a wire wheel on a, on a grinder or something like that but be careful with that because the screws are small you know what happens when you get get your phalanges in the way whips that sucker right out which is my road I'm doing stuff backwards and uh, apparently I'm easily confused <laughs> I think this is us right here things he was talking about oh if you notice a cool sound he's got an acro on here the BRP supplied one something happened with a tow truck incident with this thing and he said he knows his brakes pulse the the fronts look fine but the rear you could see like different coloration around the disc you know they're normally perfectly even so uh, his belt was out of alignment, so I had to fix that anyway. So while I was in the air, I clicked the old gal in gear and let the old back wheel roll. And um, found that he's, a, he's about a millimeter off in a spot. So I'll have to ask what happened. 
So, uh, what's the deal with the sun today? I gotta say, it feels fantastic out here. Showing, showing 75 degrees. I'm really happy with that. Anything in the 70s is my favorite. Oh, I love that. I love it when it's just cool enough. It's it's nice to wear a light coat or at least a coat with vents and you can kind of go back and forth as you... Nobody mentioned that I didn't take the Icon nor the uh, rally jacket on the Leavenworth run. The meetup. Well, it became the Leavenworth. It was supposed to be the Olympic National Forest run. But uh, it got changed and David Andrews and them decided it'd be kind of cool to kind of let that be a surprise. So I didn't really name it. But at any rate, I, I wore my, uh, my climb windbreaker. And that's all I wore the entire time. When it got hot, I opened the vents. When it got cold, well, I just got cold. I had my, uh, that snap-on pullover sweat sweatshirt, hoodie. That thing's really thick. You put that on underneath that climb jacket. Like in the winter, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good until it gets down to freezing. I'm perfectly okay with that, with that, uh, snap-on pullover hoodie and, uh, that, that climb windbreaker. It's pretty crazy. It's amazing the power of stopping the wind. But I sprayed that waterproofing agent stuff from, a, it's kind of a shame because I would have been able to test out the, uh, the rally jacket. They're, they're pretty water resistant anyway, but whatever, I think they're putting that agent on it. So they tell you after about three washes or extensive wear to use the waterproofing agent on that rally jacket. And then if it's pouring, you put the uh, waterproof bladder in. One of the cool things about the newest rally jacket that came out in 2018 is the uh, the waterproof bladder is also what's referred to as a destination jacket. So you can wear literally the, it's like a windbreaker, waterproof windbreaker. It's made out of that fang-dangled stuff that breathes. That's really important with a, with a rain suit. But apparently it's flexible or stretchy I, I haven't tried one with one of the newer jackets at work but you can actually put it on the outside of the jacket like if you just want to stay you don't want to deal with you know if you get in enough rain that jacket's gonna get heavy it's gonna soak through you know but uh, anyway you can put it on the outside if you want like the ultimate waterproofing but pretty cool I brought that BRP thing, which would have fit over what I was wearing. And as I, I don't know if I showed you guys, but it fits over the rally jacket too, which is pretty crazy. That's pretty nuts. And that's just an extra large jacket. That is literally the best rain jacket I've ever had. And it's like a cloth type stuff, but it, uh, man, it breathes really well. We got some going down right here. Must have got himself in trouble. He's got the pokey all crowding around him. Doesn't look like it's escalating to anything at this moment. But anyway, thank you guys for coming along for a rip rip on a 2016 RT Limited. If you guys are getting burnt out on the spider stuff, I, I apologize. Yeah, you can ever so if you just ride the brakes a little bit, you feel a little brrrr in the pedals. Pedal. Non plural. One brake pedal. One pedal does it all. It's Genie. Our, our little firecracker gal. Ah, oh, look at this. We got an S1000R. All right. Thank you guys for coming along for the rip rip. Hey, don't be looking at no private information here. Keep your eyes off of that stuff. We <laughs> got. All right. Talk to you guys later.
gotta love the Repsol Hondas. There's a little Rebel on the other side that Kelly goes, oh, I like that. Every time she sees him Rebel, she says she likes him. That's probably why you like the 48, because it looks yeah. kind of their way of copying a 48 Honda's little way. Yeah. Anyway, Mama, end of a day. Good day. Yeah. Let's head on to the Hacienda. Sounds good. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. Okay. You have, you have a good drive. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. How the heck is everybody doing this evening? It looks like it could rain out here. I know it got all overcast. Yeah. It was blue skies when we got home, but it's slowly coming in. <laughs> it's funny, it's mostly overcast at, at work today. And as we're coming home, it got nicer, 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 and it's actually warmer here than it was in, in Vancouver. Well, yeah. it must have came up from the south or yep. something. Well, because it's. It's a bug. It's, uh, it's here now. I mean, it literally has that literally has that look that it's going to spray yeah. on us. It does. It's that gray, hazy. Yeah. Man. Got to work today and kind of hit, I mean, hit it running. I think it was, I don't even know when it was when I went up and got my first cup of coffee. Yeah, it was but, uh, light. Yeah, I was pretty busy today. That was nice. Yeah, I was like rolling. That's cool. Yeah, I pretty much kind of, we said our goodbye out there on the side of the building and I worked. I did get a ride in, and then came home. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them days. Yeah, this, this is a full-on work day today. That's good. I just I didn't have a chance to even say anything. You know, I usually try to show you guys stuff around what I'm working on, or whatever. I was just rolling. Had them stacked up today. Very good. It was all spiders. That's good. Yeah, so it was fun. Anyway, I think on that, we might as well uh, kind of a quiet day. Close it out quick. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. Quiet vlog day. Yeah. It wasn't a quiet day. I was, I was yeah. busy. But I was under by myself, so I got a lot done. I just, I can focus and just bang. No interruptions and just keep on going. That's good. I like those days. Me too. All right. All right. Till tomorrow. You guys take care. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.